And now I'm going to show you how to make these ham and cheese roll-ups. Um, I got the recipe from tasteofhome.com and they call them roll-ups um, because they actually sort of rolled them up jelly roll style, but I actually found it easier just to roll them like burritos, just to fold the corners in and flap them over twice. Um, but if you wanted to, you could, you could just roll them up so that the filling was kind of a spiral inside. Um, yeah, they're really tasty. They call them ham and cheese roll-ups, as I said, and but they actually have ham, cheese, and salami in them, and you can use a marinara sauce, or as I've done, a pizza sauce here as a dipping sauce. Okay, so I've got my ingredients assembled for this. Uh, now, I'll post the original recipe below, um, and it's actually set to make four servings out of this. We're going to be making three tonight, um, so I'm just using little different amounts. But basically, we've got our three tortillas. Um, which we're going to use to do the roll-ups. And if you want to keep this low-carb, just get low-carb tortillas. Everything else is fine. Uh, the next is, um, the recipe calls for about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I don't need quite that much. And my husband, not being a big Parmesan fan, I'm just going to use a light sprinkling of that. Um, then we want about, uh, I've got about 75 grams each here of a very thin uh, sliced ham. That's a triple smoked ham, and this is uh, like a salami. It's maybe about six, six slices, so you can get two slices on each one. And then here you can use provolone cheese, like the original recipe. I'm actually using a mozzarella today. Um, and then next we have uh, some just fire roasted red pepper strips. And once these are rolled up, just to have a little dipping on the side, you can use a marinara sauce, or I'm actually going to use a little bit of this pizza sauce to dip them in once they're finished. All right, so I've already got my oven preheated. Um, it says to about 425 Fahrenheit. That would be a little over 200, um, about 210 Celsius. But my oven being a fan forced, I've turned it down a bit. I've got it at about 190 Celsius. Um, so for, I'm just going to start by brushing a little bit of olive oil on the tortillas. I'm just going to put about a teaspoon on there and give it a good brush. Or you can pour it directly on the tortillas and brush it around, whatever works for you. You're only going to use maybe about a teaspoon for each, each one. Now this is where, um, like I said, you'd be, according to the original recipe, putting about a quarter cup or so of Parmesan on each one of these. That's quite a bit, actually. And as I say, my husband's not a big fan, so I'm just going to give it a light sprinkling. The next step is we're going to layer the meats and the cheese. So we'll divide our meat equally and try to keep it a little bit away from the edge because you're going to need to fold those in and roll them up, kind of like burritos. So stay maybe an inch or so away from each edge. Really easy to do. They're um, built as a kid's favorite, and they'd be pretty easy for kids to help you assemble them as well. So next I'm going to put the cheese on. I'll just try to divide this evenly. Okay, so I still have a slice left. That's plenty of cheese, I think. And now next we'll go over with the ham. Okay, now next, the last ingredient is to put a couple of these fire roasted peppers on there. Mine are in long strips, so I can just put two or three on each one, or however many you like. And then we're just going to put the edges in to keep the filling in. Fold it over and roll it up just like you would a burrito. Do that with your other three. Okay, so finally, now once we've got them rolled, we've just set them on a um, baking pan that's been lined with baking paper or parchment paper. I'm just going to do the same as we did on the inside. Just put a little bit of olive oil on each one. And just spread it over the top. And then we're going to sprinkle our Parmesan on again. Now again, in the recipe, it says you can use as much as a quarter cup to do this. I'm just going to give it a light sprinkling. Now I'm just going to pop those in the oven for about 9 to 12 minutes until they're golden brown. over 10 minutes, and I'm going to cut these off because I think they're cold and brown enough. So there they are out of the oven. Uh, you can let them sit for a minute or so, just to, so they're not too hot. And as I said, you can serve them um, with some marinara sauce on the side, or as I'm going to do with some pizza sauce. Feel free to warm it up if you like, or it doesn't really matter because these are good and warm, so I'm just going to squirt a little bit on the plate. You can just dip them in there as you eat them. Give them a try, these are really tasty.